So I'm sorry I recorded all these videos off my phone and they didn't uh won't email. So I'm just playing off my phone. As you see my geckos there. So I hope you enjoy these videos. Um so the volume on these should be good. So turn up here. So here we go, we're gonna start the first one. So we got our matches, we got a butane in there. That was the first part, and now we're just gonna hear it for the second part. Yeah. At 2 psi, it kind of gives out. I have to restart it. So Sorry about that. 40 psi and climb very fast. I, I kind of got a lot of target time for like 10 minutes. Now we're at 42. So here we go. Thank you, Mark. 
could use to stop. I gotta go get one of those planks. So I'm making this video actually quite long, but just a quick demonstration of what you guys will be seeing in my later videos. Uh, my old snowboard. Take care of me. Yeah. Oh, no, it's from there. As you see in there, it's all just something in there. Actually, really warm, but I just don't want to get wet. Ah, so I'm gonna dig that out. It's not focused. I'm gonna dig this out, and we'll continue at 60 to 80 psi. So you're gonna go for the next video, and this is where the really bad thing happens. Just watch. Okay, so. So there's a bit of a problem. So as you see, steam's coming out. And if I turn this off, it still shoots out. This one piece, that one piece right there, just melted. And now there's steam spewing everywhere. And my pressure gauge is kind of on the frit. It's saying I have 120 psi, and that popped out. It's set to be 110. So I got the steam just open there. I pop my pop valve. Oh, these things aren't good for this year. If I pop it out, that's when steam comes out. Nothing. So I got that open. I melted my one thing, so I don't know what's wrong with the PSI gauge. And this is the second one I've gone through in about ever since I got this thing running. I don't know where the steam is escaping from, but the engine runs quite hot to the touch. So you're eating gloves on. Take off my, my phone, take off my jacket. I'm starting to sweat really badly. It's like a plus two, and I was wearing a sweater and a jacket. That right hand glove on. Back 
to the workbench for that engine, I guess. But we got the engine running, that's a good part. I know exactly what I'm doing with this thing. The board actually pretty good. Seems to fill well for the part here. Don't worry, I put I put glue I put uh G oh, it's coming from here. I put JB weld in that part so it'll never leak. But it runs. That is a very good part. So, continue with me making marshmallows. Oh. And here's a piece from that one pressure gauge. So, continue when I'm making marshmallows. And we'll continue here with the next part. Oh, got my fire going again. So, what went wrong? Let me just turn on my light here. It's daytime. This thing is not made for heat, it's meant for air. And I burnt all the insides. And yeah, but whatever happened, and all the arrows, well, whatever happened to my pressure gauge, I still don't know. Like, that thing's, that thing's destroyed. It's saying it's at 150 and that thing's off. So not 150, 110. And this one, that one just, I don't like those ones, they just croak. So yeah, I'm gonna go to the store right after I go cook some marshmallows. I don't think I can cook marshmallows, so I use this butane to start it. Kerosene, whatever. I use that stuff to start it, so I don't think it'd be healthy if I uh, ate marshmallows after that's been on it. But the engine runs, and yeah, that's it for uh, part three. This is supposed to be part four, showing, yes, exactly uh, how I am. With everything, but no. So this is going to be part three of what is to come of that thing actually being pretty good. So I know it runs. I can get it running perfectly now since I know it went wrong. A nice little TV fire going there. So yeah, um, stay tuned for part four. Part four is me buying a whole bunch of new parts. Fortunately, the parts I had probably cost me around 20 bucks just for the ones I have to go buy them all fireproof and heat proof. So, probably around 50 bucks I gotta go spend. Oh well. You gotta do what you gotta do. So thanks for watching this uh, part 3 and I hope you enjoy and I hope you keep watching all the rest of these. Please subscribe and check out the playlist for the new parts. Uh, next video should be um, this weekend since it's a long weekend I got. Today's Saturday, I got Sunday and Monday. And I got all my dates mixed up, so here's last part, just me making mushmallows. I didn't eat them, because the butane, it still smells like butane, so I didn't eat them. But I did cook them. That makes some mushmallows. Um, who doesn't love mushmallows in the middle of winter? Yeah, so, I'm just going to sit out here and make marshmallows, wait for my fire to die out. I'm not going to add wood on it. Now I'm shopping. See ya. So yet again, I'm sorry. Um, the, my video clips are in, since they're so big. Uh, my camera wouldn't let me email them. So yeah, that's pretty much it. This is part three. Yet again, I'm very sorry for this. I will be using my camera for part four. Part four will be showing uh, how it, all the insides of my engine, how I made it all, giving more detailed description of it. I want this to close. And so, yeah, that's pretty much it. And, uh, part five will be the engine running off steam. And part six would just be. There's not. I don't think there's gonna be a part six. I just think it's part five, and I'll go back to my gaming. And I'm, so far, I'm at 22 subscribers, and the new gaming video will be my, uh, 20. 30, 25 subscribers video. So, the good video will be coming out when I have 25 subscribers, so just 3 more subscribers, then I'll be good. Time to end this video off, so thanks for watching.